What is going on guys, Mod Tutorials here, and today, as I promised, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2 for PC free, without surveys or any passwords, so thank, uh, as an appreciation for that, please do leave it a like and subscribe. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the page, to the link you're gonna click the link of the game you want to download that'll be in the description so let's start with call of duty advanced warfare i'm just gonna say all the system requirements right here so for advanced warfare you need a dedicated one gigabyte graphics card so with that it will not run i mean it will but it will not run like that properly not properly so set the graphics card to high performance in your graphics settings so the processor you will need is Intel Core i3 2.9 GHz or better, RAM 6 GB or more, operating system Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. It needs to be 64 bits because 32 bits will not uh, operate on a 45.9 GB game. So DirectX 11. So this is like a package you'll need for the graphics. So they this is for all the games like this pr is mostly used for all gaming games for activation near for speed and all that stuff so the hard disk space you'll need is 45 gigabytes so the system requirements for modern warfare 3 the operating system can be windows xp windows vista windows 8 or 8.1 they can be 32 and 64 bits because modern warfare 3 the pc game i'm putting you in the description for the load it's not the biggest like 6 gigabytes or less the processor you'll need is dual core 2.5 gigahertz ram memory 2 gigabytes hard disk space 16 gigabytes free available so let's get to black ops 2 operating system windows 7 service pack number one or it can be Windows 8 or 8.1 so it can be 32 or 64 bits Mo the Advanced Warfare is the first game it cannot be played on 32 bits it's pretty good I mean not I'm not just trying to say it's bad it's pretty big really good graphics highly recommended some people say it's like kind of Halo it doesn't matter what matters to play the Call of Duty game because if you have Halo Halo doesn't have exo suits Exosuits are beast. So processor into core dual or ADM Phantom X3. RAM 2 gigabytes. Radio memory 500 to uh, 512 megabytes. Hard disk space 18 gigabyte, uh, gigabytes. So when I said the Call of Duty is not a sucky game, I'm not trying to say like the people that say that it's a sucky game, uh, they don't know about Call of Duty. Is that their opinion? I I highly uh respected so please don't comment bad things on the description and if it didn't work for you the installation if you have a uh, issue with the direct x because when i downloaded battlefield 3 it said a direct x uh issue for me so please don't uh put a comment about one for it didn't work you suck and all that stuff just put what you have what problem you have and i'll try to put a video of how to fix it so let's get started with uh, advanced warfare for what you'll need for advanced warfare installation you're gonna go to the how install video so you're gonna click on game installation video I'm, I'm sorry uh, it's kind of slow but it's just like that it's it's cuz I have you torrent I stopped it, but I was I'm downloaded The Walking Dead Season Four, Need for Speed Rivals, and The Maze Runner. So if you want me also to show you how to get uTorrent Plus, uh, just leave it a comment. Or if you want me to show you to how to get Need for Speed Rivals, comment too. So what you will need for Advanced Warfare? Oh, sorry. This is the IDM. What I just uh, took down was the IDM. In other words, the Internet Download Manager, you'll need that for a faster Internet download. Or you just can download it from the server from itself on the page. So what you'll need, the Advanced Warfare Free Download, the Internet Download Manager, I already have all this stuff. 
So you don't need to download that. I'll have a link in the description on how to download a full version for free. Because sometimes you'll download uh, future raw files, files, and this is the like one of the only programs can open it. So let's get to. Oh, you also need to watch the video because I'm not putting the video, the vid, uh, the video, the tutorial of how to install the video. Okay, so sorry, I had to go to do something. So as I was telling you, I'm not gonna do the tutorial of the installation process because I'm I don't have the system requirements, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of memory for that. So you just can go ahead and click on game installation video and watch it because it's a pretty good video. I already saw it and explain it pretty well. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna download the f the game itself. This is the game, and this is the fix for the update, something like that. Okay, so as you can see, high performance cloud server. This makes it download fast, really fast. So you will see how I'll, the Internet Download Manager puts a pretty fast download. So I might have like 95 megabytes because I already downloaded some part before I watched it, the system requirements. So if you cancel the download, you will see the you will have the you'll keep on going with the download I'm gonna click start download okay right here I just started over because I clicked the other option but if you stay at the middle option if you have internet download manager you're gonna keep on going with the files you had so as you can see I already downloaded 3 megabytes and I haven't spent even 10 seconds on this so as you can see it's pretty fast so I'm just gonna cancel it. So let's go with Modern Warfare 3. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this page if you want Modern Warfare 3, and you're gonna see the system requirements I already set out, and I'll put them in the description too. So you're gonna click the download button, and oh, I keep getting this. The download when you click it, the uh, the same self will do with like the advanced warfare. You're gonna click download now. I will generate a link. Wait for it to generate. So when you go with that, you're gonna if you have downloaded some files, you'll save it will save them and you keep with this middle option so you can keep on going with the files. Okay, add the duplicate and over at the system file. System file is complete. Show download complete dialog. Okay, click on this option if you have some downloads. Okay, so as you can see, I have downloaded four megabytes. So let's uh, let me cancel it. So let's go with Black Ops 2. You're gonna go to the link in the description that I'll put, and this is the this is for the campaign. Uh, the second download link is for the multiplayer and zombie mode because if you click multiplayer and you only have downloaded this one it will not work it will say some issue or something like that so you're gonna need to download this one you're gonna go to the game installation video to download the files you need they are the same from advanced warfare modern warfare 3 so we're gonna go ahead and download wait for the redirecting high performance server and then click download now. It will generate a link. Okay, let me get this out. Okay, it's generating the link. Let me get this. Out. Okay, wait for it. Okay, start and load. Create a folder. So as you can see, I already downloaded one megabyte. And I haven't taken even once. Didn't take even one setting. So if you get, uh, got good internet speed, it will be pretty easy for you. So hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a thumbs up if you want me to show you how to get uh, uTorrent Plus or Need for Speed Rival or the both of them. Just click the like button and comment down below if you want me to say so. Leave it a like, subscribe for more future tutorials, and I'll see you guys on my next video.